Hello and welcome. In this video, I will show you how to set up control rig look at IK functionality. As you guys can see, my character properly looking at the sphere and the posture of my character body behaves realistically. And if the angle, if the view angle between the character and the object is in certain range, then my character properly follows the object. If the view angle increases, then my character will not follow the object and perform the desired animation without looking at the object. So this is all done in control rig. Here is my third person project. First thing you need to do is edit plugins, go to control rig and enable the control rig plugin. Then I'm gonna go to content browser, right click and create a new folder, call this control rig. I'm gonna go to animation and create a new control rig. Here's my control rig. I'm gonna go to preview mesh and set the preview mesh to SK mannequin. Go to rig hierarchy and import the hierarchy. Select the SK mannequin mesh and my control rig is now done. Here is the bone hierarchy. So first thing first, I'm gonna create a new control. Go to new, right click and create a new control. I'm gonna call this look at control. Go to details and select the arrow solid. So here is my control for my look at IK. I'm gonna right click and set the initial transform from current. So every time I compile my control reset its position that I have defined. So for setting up control rig look at IK I'm gonna use the aim node like so. So for setting up the aim node properly we need to set up the primary or secondary axis. So the primary axis will be the forward axis, forward vector and the secondary axis will be the up vector. For example, if I open my mannequin animation and here is my skeleton mesh. So if I select my head bone, here you guys can see the forward axis is the y axis and the up axis is the upward axis. So now in my aim node I'm gonna in my primary axis I'm gonna set the forward for y to 1 and remaining to 0 because the first I'm gonna set the bone to head and you guys can see the forward axis forward vector is the y y axis and the up vector is the X axis. So the in my primary axis I am gonna set the forward vector which is y axis and in my secondary axis I am gonna set the up vector which is the x axis like so. So now I am gonna grab my look at control get the control transform and in my primary I am gonna I have set up the axis value and now for the target I am going to use the current control location. For the secondary I have set up the axis which is the x axis is the upward axis and we are not using any kind of control any kind of location we are just using the direction so I will set this up to direction and for the target which is the up vector 
I'm gonna set this to Z to up like so so here is my aim node is now properly set up and if I move my control you guys can see my head is now properly looking at the control bone is now looking at the control so for setting this up for my upper body I'm gonna use a simple trick just duplicate this aim node three times connect this like so for my first aim node I'm gonna set this to set the bone to spine one second bone will be my neck And the third one will be my head so I'm gonna get the translation value of my control and put this in my each primary axis value so now you guys can see if I move my control the upper body properly looking at the control bar it's not in right way this is weird so for if the simple fix is to set the weight value accordingly for example if I set this point 3 weight to point 0.35 and the neck weight to point 0.5 and the head weight to point 0.75 so here you guys can see now you guys can change the weight value according to your need if I set this to 0.25 now you guys can see the character upper body will be here properly so this is a simple trick we are just using the simple control control rig location and put this into three bones and set the weights so set the weights properly so if I change the preview to a specific animation I'm gonna set this to idle this is not working. I'm gonna reopen this specific animation and set this to idle. And here you guys can now see if I move my control, this is pretty realistic. My character properly follows the control, like so. So I hope you guys like this video. So in the next video we will set up the proper target so that the character will properly look at the object. And if the if the limit is exceeds then the character will not longer the follow will not will not follow the object. So in the next video we will set up that functionality. So thank you guys. I hope you guys like this video. And do subscribe to the YouTube channel and also you can support me on Patreon and gain access to all project files. Thank you.